Hi friends, this is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. I apologize for the terrible lighting. I'm sitting in the parking lot here of Whitfield Nursery in Gilbert, Arizona, and I'm about to go in. It's been about a good year since I've been to this nursery, but I remember them having a pretty good selection of cacti, and I know that they were working on their greenhouse for uh, houseplants, so I think it's about time that I come back and check it out. So I'm going to take you along with me, okay? So let's go. Look what a beautiful area they have. Succulents over here. Oh my gosh. Look at this. $12.99 for the little bunch. They're splitting. So cute. Some little two inch ones. Aeonians. More succulents in the greenhouse. Okay. String of bananas up there. These are really healthy. $14.99. That's a good price. They're very healthy. Holiday cactus. Oh, Rick Rack. $30. Sorry for the shadow. The $30 for Rick Rack, 6 inch. It's in good shape. Bad price. Mm -hmm. Sago palms. These are some Kalanchoes, I believe. Pretty. Palms. Trees back there. Type of jade, I believe. It's pretty. Eoniums, flapjacks. Oh, these are cool. Senecio swizzle sticks. I've never seen these. Those are very cool. But I don't see any prices on anything. Two fingers, that's for this, ten dollars. Maybe the other ones are ten dollars also. Got some nice looking aeoniums. Looks like they have a little shop there, seeds and pesticides. I do remember this. They have this really nice pond here with koi. <laughs> Careful, I don't fall in. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Looks like something you can have in your backyard. It's like Plumeria and Desert Roses. Desert Roses should be coming out of dormancy right now, going into March. $30. Look good. Look at that codex. Look at that one. Wow, $50 for that one. Joaquin Kalanchoe. I used to have one of these. Mine, mine passed away. These are in good shape here. I do wish they would do is now I see ten dollars. Okay, Let's see the Gavi octopus. That's very cool. This aloe crocodile. Huh. Look at this. Oh 
Oh my god, this is so big. I can barely pick it up. It's huge. That is probably the biggest wandering joy I've ever seen. It's huge. I can't even pick it up. These Semper Vivums. Look at that. So pretty. A little flag in it. Oh, I'm gonna be able to be a nice gift. Hmm, looks like one's missing there. Well, let's head back. Here's where all the large agaves, cacti are. We have a yard. This huge barrel cactus. Wow. Apple cactus. Mexican fence post, I believe. Some Pedro cactus, I have that. Lots of agaves. Not looking for any of that right now. Dragon fruit. Oh, I do have this. Mine's about to bloom too. The partridge breast aloe. I think I've shown you that before in one of my favorite plants of the month. And it's about to bloom for me for the first time. I got it just as a little pup. And I have a coral aloe, aloe striata. It has not bloomed for me, but oh, I hope it does here soon. I don't think it's mature enough yet. Lots of things in bloom. Joyas. Don't want to get next to those puntias. Looks like you have some euphorbia here. Sansevieria over here. Oh, look at these. Hedgehogs. Made out of metal. Portrait Afra, the variegated one. These are nice. Look at the trunks on these. These would be so good to make a bonsai out of. Because look at that trunk on it. Any one of these would be perfect. That's what you want to look for. And they have chickens here and she has her little ch chicks with her. Let me see if I can get you a picture over here. Oh mommy don't be shy. Where are your little chicks? Oh my goodness. Look how precious. That is so cute. I know they have a cat here too. I'm amazed he leaves these alone. <laughs> Let's go into the greenhouse and I think they're restocking too. Oh, cacti, euphorbia, hammock. I'm looking for the variegated one. They have these for 25. That's nice. Bigger succulents. Succulent arrangements. Look in a strawberry pot. Look at that huge rubber tree. Wow. Yeah, she's just putting more stuff out right now came at the right time. Fiddle leaf fig trees. Huge rubber trees. I'm sure that's hundreds of dollars. Dracaenas here, $30 for the five gallon ones. Cast iron. Look at these. $30, $29.99. They just look like, well, they're still blooming. Look at that, they're still blooming. 
beautiful. That's a good price for this full of a Senecio string of pearls. They're in good shape, too. Wow. Look at that. Let's see what else do they have here. They have some more string of bananas there. I don't know what that is. I gotta go around and look. Cord line, a Hawaiian one. What are you? You look beautiful. Tradescantia, oh God, Tahitian bridal veil. Ooh. So look at the white little flowers. It almost looks like baby's breath. This is gorgeous. Mm. Fifteen dollars. Two ninety-nine. <laughs> so pretty. Oh boy, I've never seen that. Bridal veil, Tahitian bridal veil. Looks like. Some jade. Oh, enjoy. Spider plant, Brazil, Syngoniums, ivy, more uh, string of bananas, heart leaf philodendrons. These are $15, it looks like all of these hanging six inch. String of dolphins, four inch, four ninety nine. Wow. I just paid ten dollars for a six inch. Snake point thirty dollars for the five gallon. There's so much to look at. I don't know where to look first. <laughs> they have definitely. Ooh, hello, Aglaonema. But what are you? What kind are you, honey? They just say Aglaonema. I don't see you are. You're gorgeous though. Hmm, I'll have to look it up. It doesn't say what kind of aglaonema is, but it's $30. If you know, let me know, friends. We have some uh, bromeliads here. A very big spider plant over there. Some palms. Golden pothos. Very large elephant ears. Which are Ninety dollars for these elephant ears here. Some beautiful golden pothos and a type of ivy. Wow, this is so cool. It's like fuzzy. It's beautiful. There's something over here I want to look at. Okay, they have some calatheas. Concina. Calathea Concina. No. No price. <laughs> oh, here it is. $12.99 for the Calatheas. Okay. This is a full one. $10.99 for this one. Sabrina? Is that what it is, guys? Maybe Sabrina. This one's pretty. I haven't seen this one. Concina. Concina. Cochina in Spanish is not a good word. <laughs> Anyways, it's a curly. $45 for this at the site. Curly Sue. Right? So pretty. $45. Look at this. <gasps> wow. That is. Beautiful, look at that epiphyte. Like an orchid cactus? They're $45, friends. Look at that. Gorgeous. 
And then right behind me are some cylindrical sense of areas. The one gallon pots of $19.99. Pretty. Oh, this is different. Oh, Stucky Eye, $16.99. Ooh, this is a rare one, and that's a good price. <laughs> oh, you are really, really testing me. I may have to take this one. See, the growth pattern is different than the uh, starfish, and it's giving off two babies already. Sansevieria Stucky Eye, $16.99. Okay. Okay. Whoa. What is that? That is a huge. Look at this. That's a ZZ plant? Yes. I have never seen one that big. Oh, this is $150. Actually. I don't think that's a bad price for that. That thing is huge. This look like pothos, but look at the size. My hands are a little chunky, but little. But look at the size of these leaves. And this is a silver bay. I have this one, $20. Ooh, they have a palea. My palea died, friends. Remember I had shared it with you on favorite plants for January, and I had that one that was struggling, the Palea peperomioides. It did not make it. It was root rot after all. It succumbed to that. But this one's nice. $16.99. Mm, do I want to try again? I don't know. They have a lot of cordyline. Beautiful if you want to add some color to your home. Look at that. That's like Vegas pot pink there. There's another Palea. Mm. I'm still thinking about that Sansevieria back there. Okay. Some ferns. Oh, a little Palea nada. Hi. He's a little crispy here. This is a fish hook, string of fish hooks. See how much bigger they are? They look initially like string of bananas, but the fish hooks are very big, spaced apart. The leaves are spaced apart, and they're a little bit straighter. That's how you can tell. And these are much hardier than the uh, string of bananas. Ooh, Moses cradle. Moses in the cradle. This is pretty. Yuccas. And some money trees. Little tiny bonsais there. Oh, is this a cutlass? Yes, it's a cutlass. $25. This is on my wish list. Aglanema cutlass. Look, and it's about to flower. $24.99. Oh, I can spend some serious money here. They have two. Why do you smell? They have two. Sense of areas. Really cute little bonsais there. Lots of fiddle leaf figs. Chiflera trees and variegated chifleras. Lots of pothos ones. They have a good supply of everything. You get this. This is a. Hanging basket with some Creepy Charlie and Tretiscantius and Wandering Jew. How pretty is that? It's, oh, $25. It's not bad. It's huge. Yeah. Sangoniums. Another Palea. Oh, some Peperomias. Variegated Tussifolis. Oh, they got quite a few in there. Looks like seven or eight, sixteen ninety nine. Maria, Glenima Maria. This is spotted laurel. This can go outside. That's cool. Okay, let's move inward. 
There's so much to see. Here's a jade sansevieria for its nest. Oh, it's falling over. Falling over. Quilting. Oh. Different bakia. Looks like lots of different bakias. Dracenas. There's another huge ZZ. Looks like some leaves on it are dying. I don't know the price on that. Another fish hooks. This one isn't quite as big. Peperomia. Smaller ZZs. Maria. Lots of um, the standard ones that you could find at a box store, a big box store, but they're big. They're all very big. Okay, Plea, I'll think about you, okay? I'll think about it. But you may be coming home with me, okay? Don't tell the others. Oh, I missed this one. Bird's Nest Farm. $17.99. That's nice. Very nice. Wow, yeah, they've really done well. It's been a, like I said, it's been a year since I came here. Hmm, okay. Lots to think about as far as what I can get. <laughs> what I can afford. Well, that's all for today, friends. It is a lot to look at here. And um, I'm going to pick up a couple things, but you're going to have to wait to see what they are. I'll be sharing them with you soon. But uh, this is in Gilbert, Arizona with Phil Nursery. So if you enjoyed this video today, please do give it a thumbs up. And uh, let me know which one was your favorite. Um, they have so many uh, houseplants and succulents and everything. Let me know which one was your favorite. And if you haven't subscribed already, please uh, consider doing so. We have a wonderful plant community here. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks, friends. Have a blessed day.